I'm HP and this is a review of a Warped Tour band. This is one of the bands that I favor because I already knew about this band and I already loved this band. And I, the moment that I fell for this band was another live experience. I took my niece to see Black Veil Brides. We had to go all the way to Kentucky because they weren't playing in Tennessee. And it was her first concert. It was a really great experience for her. And I didn't expect to enjoy any of the bands. Hate me. I'm not a fan of Black Veil Brides. I don't have anything against them. They're just not for me. But set it off really impressed me. Their stage presence was really just enormous. Some of their tunes were really catchy and I was like, hey, I can get into this. But what really impressed me about this band in that experience was there were four or five bands on the lineup. The major band on this tour was Black Veil Brides. They were the headliner, but there were a few just a step lower than them. I don't remember what bands they were. I think I wrote it in the review of this show, which I'll link. In the description but at the end of the show where everybody's at all these merch tables and they're looking around for the bands the only band to show a face was set it off the only band on this tour that showed their faces after the show at least at this show was set it off i have never seen such an insult to fans in my entire life you cannot tell me there was not one single member of all of those bands that was okay enough to come out and say hey for five seconds you no know, they were nowhere to be seen which i found really ridiculous you know i drove four hours one way to get there and it was my niece's first concert she wanted to meet black veil brides they're her favorite band and she, she wanted to see them and and i understand that and it was still a really great experience for her she got a sweaty t-shirt and all this great stuff you know <laughs> super dorky nasty disgusting stuff that us girls hang on to but it was a good experience for her but i just couldn't wrap my mind around that this was when austin was still in the band and i don't want a big blah, blah, blah about what austin did or didn't do or what he's doing now whatever that's not relevant at all he was you know taking goofy pictures with all the fans and one of the other guys was selling CDs in the merch line. They were in everyone else's merch line interacting with fans of other bands. And then the people who owned the venue said, It's curfew. Y'all gotta leave. And Cody went outside and hung out with us for a while because he's awesome like that. He actually sang to me in the parking lot, which was pretty awesome. I thought that was really great. He signed my CD for me and was just a super sweet guy. Every time that I've been around Cody, I have gotten that impression from him is he's super sweet. He really cares about the fans and even the people who aren't fans. He thanked me for buying their CD. It was just really, it was a good experience coming from that band and that band was the only band that I wasn't angry at at that moment. But you guys don't really care about that. You wanna hear about the music, right? Well, Set It Off is this much rock, well, this, this much rock and this much pop. They do have a few really great tracks that I like. The Haunting and Wolf in Sheep's Clothing are my favorites. And they're both really spiteful. So, they're pop rock. They do little dances in their videos. They're essentially a boy band. But they have a really appealing sound, or at least I think so. And I think that you should check them out. But yeah, The Haunting and Wolf in Sheep's Clothing, I think that you'll like even if you're not into pop because they're not really pop. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you like my face and you want to see more of it, hit the subscribe button. Which band are you most excited to see on Warp Tour and where are you going to Warp Tour at?